What's going on guys? Maverick here. Today we're back with another video on the channel. And today we're back with the second episode of Computer Craft Tutorials. And like I promised in the last episode, we are going to be doing disk drives or and floppy disks. And at the end of each episode we will have a full program like we have this one here which is a password door and then that's the correct password but if we get it wrong then it doesn't work so we're going to look at s something that's kind of the same in this episode so well first we're going to start out by oh, got some extra stuff here that I don't need it's just messing around but what you can do is you can put in a floppy disk and if you go ls you have the disk in the rom and then we can go cd disk and that means now if we do anything it's on the disk but we're just going to restart the computer to go back but what we're going to do is first we're going to look at the startup programs so on if we make this so we go print pc and then we're going to go edit disk slash startup and then we're going to go print disk now if we restart the computer by holding control R you see it prints disk but if we take out the floppy disk prints PC and we put it back in and it works again so and we're gonna do label dot set and it's on the right here so and then we're gonna set it to start up test Now it's called startup test. Now, so that we know it is. Now, what we're going to look at is there's not too much with this, but what you can also do is you can have this place down with the startup thing because it overrides the other things you could have. When turtles break, they lose their program, but you could have it spawns in with the floppy disk with the startup program, and so it will spawn in. And then when it spawns, it would get loaded with the program on that. So you can do that as well. And then you can also do other things like if you have a custom API, you can store it on a disk to transport it. We'll look at custom APIs in the future, but you could put an API, let's just make it print one and say you didn't have it on pastebin but you wanted to transport it you could take out this and then you could get another computer put it down put the same oops put the same one in go ls disk oh, CD disk and now if we go a list you can see there's the API there still so we can go restart it to get out of that we'll go and it still works right. we'll go copy or to make it easy to copy disk slash api dot lower to test and that will just put it in the rom so if we go ls we now have test and if we edit test it has that so you can transfer programs as well and you can also copy onto the floppy disk the same we copied off of the floppy disk and yeah 
now we're going to look at making a little door like that one so I'm going to take another floppy disk and we're going to go label.set write to password123 and we're, and we're going to go over here we're going to make another door like before but this time it's going to be a little different because there's going to be a computer at the back and then a floppy disk there and then the door's going to go there and the, the bonus of this one with floppy disks and monitors and stuff is you can't access the computer where you could just hold control T to terminate the program or you could steal the program so now what we're going to do is we're pretty much going to do this but a bit different so we're going to go over here and we're going to go edit start up and we're going to go while true do and we're going to go if this dot is present and it's in the front then this dot if this dot get label front equals equals password one two three then print one just for now else print zero then we're gonna do an end end and we've got to do sleep zero to to it does nothing but it means the loop doesn't time out so we must do that to appraise the computer craft lower gods I don't know why it's weird and then we're gonna go save exit restart now if we put something in there that's just a random floppy disk um, so If just dot get label front equals equals oh I know what it is. I should have put this is meant to be a string because it's more than one. Save exit. Let's try that again. If I put in a random one, it prints zero. But if I put in that one, it prints one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go edit start up. Then we're going to make it like the other one. So it, if it will we'll do redstone dot set output. It's the left because the door's on the left side, and also that door needs to be one for the back to be next to the computer left then we need to set it to true then we're gonna go sleep three red stone dot set output on the left side to false so that will turn on a redstone signal at that side for three seconds turn it on then after three seconds it will turn it back off again so that will open and close then we will os dot reboot and because it's the startup program it will just start running this 
loop again. And then we're just... If it's the wrong one... We will... Actually, I don't think we need that else statement. If it doesn't detect it, we just do nothing. So we'll restart. And if we put in a random floppy disk, nothing happens. But if we put in this one, opens, closes. And now what we're going to do, so that your card comes back, we're just going to go... Here, disk dot eject. Just as an extra handy thing. So floppy disk, nothing happens. Password one two three. Ejects it. Okay. I forgot to put. front there and we are actually going to have an else and all we're going to do in the else is this.eject so if it's the wrong card it it's at least sh shoves it back out at you but if you put in that one it shoves it back out and you can walk through so that's a key card door. Um, you can. What you can also do is you can set up more than one key card. So if you want to make it so that more than one key card works, you can do that. Oh, what we'll do to make this easier is we'll go name equals this dot oh no we'll just call it m n or this dot get label front And then so that this doesn't become very long, we'll also go into here, back to here and we'll go P equals password123, P1 equals, make that P0, P1 equals password. 3, 2, 1, and P2 equals password. I just made it full screen, that's fun. Password 420. Then we'll go if n is equal to P0 or Otherwise, this would get really long if we didn't have the variables. And then we go n is equal to p1 or n is equal to p2. Save, exit, restart. That works. No, no, it doesn't. I've done this wrong. So n equals this dot get label front if n is equal to p0 p1 or p2 hmm that's odd uh, Password one two three. That's password one two three. Oh yeah. Why does one not call the floppy disk work? Oh, I'm.
done. I made the same problem as before. Put in random floppy disk, splits it back out, put in password one two three, it works. Then we put in a another one and we set it to three two one and then we set this one to or twenty. Not very good names but they work. We put in random floppy, ain't nothing happening. That one it works. That one, it works. And that one, it works. So, that's floppy disks. And in the next episode, we will be looking at um, probably modems and things like red things like rednet how you can broadcast information and also how also which is wireless modems and also wired modems how you can connect peripherals up without them being next to each other like this but that's going to be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time